Hi beings of light, love and peace and new healers out there. Welcome back. So something I'd like to actually talk about today is my upcoming fast. So the first two days, which is actually today, Saturday, I'm, I'm going to be starting off with um, raw food. Um, but also what I've done for the last couple of years, could be about five, six years, I've been doing intimate fasting. So that actually gives your body time to actually rest between having your, your dinner and having your next meal. So you wouldn't be having your breakfast. You'd be actually waiting till, to have lunch. Um, normally about 16 to 18 period hour time frame. Um, I normally just sort of go on sort of how I feel different days. I sort of eat different times. Sometimes I eat at one o'clock. Sometimes I can eat at three o'clock. That's, that's lunch. Um, and then once I've had lunch, dinner time, I could have anywhere from about six, seven, eight o'clock. So with the intimate fasting, it actually gives your time, your body time to rest. So rather than wasting all this energy to actually um, digest and to, to break down the food, um, your body is actually then actually using that energy to actually break down um, toxins and, and waste within your body and um, remove any energy that doesn't serve you. So yeah, just basically cleansing and, and um, breaking down and cleaning your, your system out. Um, yeah, so, and then for lunch today, I actually had a pineapple. <clears throat> Sorry, I've just eaten, so. <laughs> um, so for lunch today, I actually had a pineapple. Um, Another good thing to sort of look into is which fruits and veggies are actually good for um, different chakras. Um, so for the last couple of months, I've been incredibly drawn to pineapples like crazy, which is pineapple, which is the pineal gland. So the pineal gland is to do with your third eye and your crown chakra. Um, and throughout history, pineapples have been seen as a very, um, a very divine thing. Um, if you look at, throughout culture, you'll see actually like a, a pine cone type shape, and it's also very symbolic of the, the pineapple. Um, yeah, and also another thing too, um, pineapple is actually yellow too, so it would actually be good for the the solar plexus as well and um, pineapple because of it being anti-inflammatory and having the bromide in it which is good good for your gut um, and pineapple has a lot of vitamins and minerals in it as well so it would actually be good for the sacral chakra as well so um, yeah that's what I had for, for lunch today I had uh, a whole pineapple <laughs> And that may seem a lot to, to the most people, but um, when you eat raw, it actually has lower calories, so you actually have to eat more food. Um, and then for dinner tonight, I actually had um, a fresh Thai coconut. So I actually ate all the meat inside the coconut and then drank all the water. Um, and then tomorrow, again, obviously intimate fasting again. And um, not sure what quite I'll have for lunch at the moment. Just sort of see what's right tomorrow. Um, but I have a shit ton of pineapples. <laughs> and a shit ton of coconuts. Um, yeah, and so I probably might have another pineapple or a coconut. Um, also ended up getting a free half of... Uh, sorry, a quarter of a watermelon the other day and I'm actually a weirdo and I hate watermelon. I don't know why. It tastes like chalk to me. <laughs> the only way I'll actually eat it is if it has lime on it. Um, and so yeah, it's kind of ironic sometimes how the universe doesn't always give us what we want but it gives us what we need. And clearly I uh, needed a pineapple to... Um, do this raw thing and to do the juice fast because they're very watery as well so the universe is like here have a free watermelon <laughs> so yeah 
So yeah, so that's Saturday and Sunday. I'll be doing the raw. And then uh, the next two days I'll actually be doing a juice fast. So I'm starting off doing a juice fast. Um, and so I've got some apples, um, beetroot, carrots, um, pineapples, coconut water, um, that's all I can think of right now and what else ever magically appears in the next few days as well if I go out shopping and decide to add some more things again look at try to look at the vitamins and minerals and which chakras those vegetables are actually for so actually anything that comes from the ground let's say for um example beetroot and carrots both come from the ground um so they're both a root vegetable so they would be predominantly to do with um the root chakra particularly beetroot beetroot's got that red color um which is actually like blood um and also kind of look at the shapes of um the fruit and veggies the shapes of them will give the indicators of which organs are actually good for within the body um so beetroot beetroot's red so beetroot is a blood cleanser um beetroot also cleanses the kidneys and the liver as well um carrot Carrots orange, so carrot would be to do with the sacral chakra. Um, yeah, so what else was there? Apples. Hmm, apples, apples. Well, apple. If it's apples got a lot of green on it, then it would possibly be to do with the heart chakra. But then it has a bit of red, so it would be a bit of the sacral chakra. Also, I know apples are actually very good for your gut as well. Um, they're quite um, antibacterial um, apples as well. Um, so you might know the old apple cider vinegar, um, which has um, probiotic and prebiotics in it, um, which is also antibacterial and antifungal and antiviral. So it can actually kill certain things within the gut and within the body. Um, so pretty much every disease that ever exists actually starts in the gut. So literally you are what you eat. Um, and the old saying, let food be thy medicine. And I have a very, very strong core belief. I, I believe that everything can be healed and there is a medicine for everything. Um, and also something else I would like to play around with because I like to experiment and I also like to play with different modalities and I like to pull the truth out of lots of different things and I like to then create my own model modality. Um, so something I'll also be experimenting with while doing the juice fast um, will actually be herbs. So I'm very, very, very passionate about um, natural medicine. Um, I've done a few different courses over, over the years, um, around nutrition and, and natural medicine. Um, also including, um, a bit of, um, energy healing and shamanic practices and that sort of thing as well. Um, which are also different healing modalities. Um, so yeah, with the herbs, so, um... I kind of like intuitively know what herbs are, are right for me. Um, you may intuitively know what herbs are right for you. Um, but based on what properties were in, in the herbs, I roughly would know to what herbs are, are good for certain things for other people. So could make up certain concoctions. So I might get like 30 different herbs and um, boil, boil your water in your kettle and um, get like a big pot and chuck all your herbs in and um, let them sit for probably minimum probably half an hour um, if you let it sit for a couple of hours obviously it's going to be stronger and then you actually drink that liquid um, so I've noticed this there's certain things that fasts and fruit and veggies um, are actually better at healing 
and I notice on the other hand you've got your um your herbs and your spices as well and other plant medicines and they're actually better at healing certain other things and in some ways they can go deeper into certain things um and on the other hand obviously the fruits and veggies and flowers can go deeper into other things they so they both have a purpose and both when put together they're like the perfect balance and like the perfect match for each other um yeah and the thing with with herbs is um it's not like and same with fruit and veggies like when we take drugs and other medications and stuff like that you're basically putting a, a band-aid on things so rather than actually fixing the core of the problem so certain um so with the fruit and veggies the fruit and veggies and the herbs actually go in and, and fix the core of the problem and then teach the body to actually work correctly again um Yeah, so um, then after doing the two days raw, then doing the two days juice, um, then after that I'm going to um, I t I'm going to do a total of two weeks. So after the two raw, and then the two juice days, and then I'm going to do the rest of the days I think it's a total of 10 days so I'll be doing a 10 day water fast um, and then after the 10 day water fast then I'll be going back into two days juice and then back into two days water water <laughs> water <laughs> yeah it's a bit water raw <laughs> um, yeah so which doesn't give the body as so much of as as a big shock um sometimes people can jump into things too fast and it can cause a very um a bad detox reaction i've seen with certain people if they go into things too fast um sometimes it's nice to slowly ease the body in um yeah oh and in this time too um also be doing other different things like um, be doing meditation of the morning, doing some yoga of the morning, and doing some um, yoga of the night and doing some meditation of the night, um, different sound healings and different meditations and um, sort of like intuitively working with myself and listening um, to my soul and what it actually needs right now and um, where where it needs to heal and where it needs to change and where it needs to where, where it needs to grow because um, we're all at different stages along our journey and um, yeah um, so I'll keep you guys updated on a day-to-day -day basis um basically i'll let you guys follow my journey and and um different things that come up and different things i um experience um so you just kind of know what to expect and um if you'd like to do something like this in the future um yeah you can reach out and um I'll give you guys a helping hand or if you would like to actually work with me in the future and um, actually I can actually talk you guys through on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, I actually have a, a spare room here that's actually currently um, my art studio. So um, yeah, so if anybody wants to actually work with me one-on-one -on -one um, we can work something out. Or um, if you want to work from your home basis, um, we can um, obviously work something out there too. But um, there's many of other things that I, um, modalities I've been playing around with too, apart from the sound healing and, and the breath work, 
work and um, um, I had a fr I had a friend over within the, um, the last week and um, I did a tarot card reading for her and um, basically um, gave her some guidance as we were going through the tarot card reading and um, I realized that I actually have a real talent for, for that sort of thing as well so um, I think everything will sort of just sort of blend into together and um, yeah I'll create my own um, healing modality eventually. Um, something to look forward to in the future is once everything calms down and that sort of thing is um, I'll actually be having a healing circle. Um, I'll do like full moon healing circles and new moon healing circles and um, might just have um, a healing circle based around feminine, might have a healing circle based around masculine, might have a healing circle based around both. Um, and uh, or you know just working with the energies that are uh, you know around at that time and yeah kind of went off on a bit of a tangent there and talked about all these other random stuffs but yeah that's kind of whatever sort of channels through at that time I just start talking about <laughs> um yeah so um I'll keep you guys updated in the in the loop and um I hope you have a beautiful evening and um. Have a magical week and um, sending you guys light, love, peace and truth and healing vibes out there right now. And um, yeah, much love. Have a beautiful evening. Bye. <laughs>